About six months ago, I bought this pair of glasses right here from a brand that I found on Instagram. But here's the thing, that brand didn't show me an ad on Instagram. And in fact, it's this brand right here. And as you can see, I'm not even following their account. So the big question is, how did I even find this brand? And why did I decide to buy something from them, especially something that wasn't really cheap, when I don't even follow them and they didn't target me with a bunch of ads? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the strategy that this brand used to get me and thousands and thousands of other women to buy glasses just like these. If you're trying to grow a business or brand account on YouTube, then chances are you've watched quite a few other videos on the topic of Instagram growth strategies, and you know the basics. You know that you should be posting on a regular basis. You should be really consistent. You need to get your followers to engage with your posts. So you need to be asking them questions. You know that you need to be interactive, that you need to have a target customer in mind. You you need to produce helpful content and maybe you even know about using a few hashtags. Now, if you're trying to grow a personal brand or a personal account on Instagram, then those things might be enough. A personal brand account is driven by the story of that personality's life. What is going to happen to them? What are they going to do? What are they doing today? So people follow the account because they're interested in the person and they want to see what is going to happen. But a business account doesn't have that advantage. They can't use that play most of the time. So you have to figure out some other way to get people to follow you and most importantly, to get people to buy your product because chances are that is why you're trying to grow this brand account in the first place. So if this is in fact what you're trying to do, then the number one strategy that you need to focus all of your Instagram attention on is getting your audience to create content for you. Audience generated content, that is what you need. That is going to be the bread and butter of your growth. So what is audience generated content? How can you get some of it? And how can you use it to get people to buy your product? Well, it's not all that complicated. Like I just said, it means that you're going to get your audience to create content for you. So in just a minute, I'm gonna get into exactly how to do that. But first of all, let's talk about why that's so great. Why do you want your audience to create content for you? Well, first of all, because you need content. If you're trying to build some sort of Instagram account, then you need something to actually post on your feed or in your stories. And it can be pretty tough to, on a regular basis, come up with a lot of interesting content and pictures to go with it, especially the kind of content that's really going to attract your target customers. So you need some sort of content, and if your audience can generate it for you, then why not? The second reason why this is awesome is because your audience is actually going to create the most compelling content for your account. Content that's way better than anything you could create. The reason that I bought these glasses was because someone who I follow on Instagram created a piece of content for this account. She shared that she was wearing these glasses and that they were helping her eyes out. And so I didn't see a post from Lady Boss Glasses and I didn't see an ad from them either. I saw a post from someone who I was already following talking about these and talking about how they were working for her. Okay, and if those first two reasons weren't enough, one more reason why it is fantastic to have your audience create content for you is because that means that your audience is going to be involved with your brand. And when your audience is involved with your brand, they are much more likely to buy again in the future and to be talking about your brand and to be sharing it with their network. Okay, so you get it. Getting your audience to create content for your Instagram account is a really smart move, but you're probably wondering how you can actually get your audience to do that, especially if your audience right now is really small. Well, there are two main ways that you can get your audience to create content for you. The first is simply getting them to share pictures of themselves using your product. So in order to do this and in order to do the second strategy I'm going to share with you, you'll want to make sure that you're offering some sort of incentive. Now, as soon as your account starts to grow even just a bit and you have a following yourself, one of the main benefits that you can share with your customers as to why they should share pictures of them using your product is because you will then share their 
content on your account. You're gonna share their post with your followers and everybody loves attention, everybody loves getting a little bit more love and so that is actually a very popular reason why people might share pictures of using your product. And in fact, that is the main strategy that this brand right here that I bought the glasses from uses on their account. As you can see here, they have a bunch of pictures of women wearing their glasses. And these women aren't models. These women are their users sharing out pictures, some of them really, really cute pictures, of them actually wearing the glasses. And this is one of the main ways that they are getting their users to create content for them and to promote their brand for them is just that they are generously sharing the pictures of their followers on their account. Okay, so I'm moving because it got way too noisy where I was. By the way, if you guys uh, are wondering why in the world Gillian is in a park, it's because we moved into a new house and my office is in the process of being painted. My new office is in the process of being painted. And so I don't have any furniture in there and it doesn't work very well for filming. I got up early this morning and I thought, why not go film at the park? And I guess why not is because people are like mowing their yards near the park. So it's not the best place to film and you might hear a few birds, but the show must go on. You guys know that that is one of my philosophies. The show must go on. Don't let stuff get in your way. Keep putting in the work to get the results that you actually want. So that is why there's a video in the park today. Anyway, let's continue on talking about Instagram. So the first strategy is just getting your customers to share pictures of themselves using your product, loving your product. Now, this is a fantastic strategy, but it can be kind of tough strategy to get started when you don't have anyone sharing pictures of your product yet. So you don't have that social proof of like, this is a good thing to do to share pictures of the product. So what can you do in that case? Well, basically you can use the second strategy and that is to have contests. So you want to give your followers a bigger incentive to share something very specific. People are much more likely to take action and in this case, create content for you if you give them something very specific to do. So you don't just say, hey, please share pictures of using our product and you know maybe we'll reshare them. But instead you say, use our product in a weird location and take a picture of you doing that um, and then share it out with the hashtag, you know, weird product location. Now, obviously that wouldn't actually be your hashtag. That wouldn't actually be your challenge or your contest that you're doing. But I think that you get the idea. You give your user something to do. You ask them to take a picture of it and you give them a hashtag with which they can share it. Now, this is awesome for so many reasons because first of all, you'll be able to find their content because they will be using your hashtag that you created just for the purpose of this challenge. Also, obviously, it's going to create more interesting content for them to share. So when their followers see it, it's going to catch their attention. If people just see a picture of someone they follow using a certain product, they might just think that it's a sponsored post. They're not gonna care that very much. But if you've told your customers to do a specific action, then it can be a lot more interesting. Okay, so again, some reasons why this is a great strategy. First of all, people are much more likely to do it because you've given them something very specific to do. So they're not going to feel confused about exactly how they might follow your instructions. You've told them exactly what to do. Second, because there's a hashtag involved, you're gonna be able to find their posts. And also other people will be able to click on that hashtag and see that lots of other people are also also talking about your product. And then third, it's going to create really interesting content for your brand because people are going to be doing whatever interesting thing you told them to do with your product. So you can use one of these two strategies, either just asking people to share out pictures of using and loving your product for the opportunity to perhaps be featured on your account, or you can ask them to do some specific action, use a specific hashtag for the opportunity to perhaps win a prize. Once you've done either one of these strategies, then you are going to actually take their posts and you are going to feature them on your account. Now this is just awesome because it means that you are going to get to feature your happy customers on your account. So you not only have content, but you have really good, really compelling content. So now let's talk about how this user generated content will actually grow your brand. Well, first of all, you're gonna have great content on your account so that your followers will be happy and they will keep on following your account 
And not only that, but they're going to be way more likely to buy because what you're featuring on your account is basically customer views and customer testimonials, people who are using and loving your product. I bought these glasses up here because I saw other people, specifically someone who I follow, using them, saying that they worked and looking cute in them. So I wanted them for myself. But beyond your own followers being happy and being way more likely to buy, there's another reason why this is such a great strategy. Every time your followers create content for your brand, they're going to be sharing it with their followers. So you are going to get a massive amount of exposure. It's going to be an exponential amount of exposure. For every single person who creates content for you, hundreds more people are going to find out about your brand. And they're going to be finding out about your brand in the absolutely best way possible by seeing your products in action, by seeing your happy customers use your products. Okay, one last thing you should consider before we part ways here today, and that is that if you don't decide to use this strategy to grow your account on Instagram, Obviously that's totally okay, but just keep in mind that you're going to need to use some strategy to get exposure if you want to grow your account, if you want to drive sales on Instagram. The way Instagram is built doesn't make it very friendly to getting found. That's just not how it was designed. There's not a lot of suggested content on Instagram aside from the Instagram discover page. And so if you want to grow your account on Instagram, then you need some way that you're going to actually get that exposure that you have to have. People have to find out about you before they even have the option to follow you if they want to. People who have big followings on Instagram have them because they got exposure somehow. Maybe they got exposure from their YouTube channel or maybe they ran ads on Instagram or maybe they've gotten featured in magazines or maybe they give talks around the country. I mean there's really no way to tell how most brands built their followings on Instagram. But when you see a strategy that brand is using that actually works, it's worth paying attention. So I hope that you found the strategy that I shared with you in today's video really interesting and helpful. If you're going to try it out on your account, then be sure to comment down below. Let me know. Tell me what your business is, what you sell in your business, and what your Instagram account is. Uh, be careful to not actually at tag your Instagram though because YouTube doesn't like that very much. But I would love to hear from you guys and hear about this strategy working from you. So comment down below and tell me what you're working on. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed, then be sure to do that now so you don't miss my next video. I make two videos here on YouTube every single week all about entrepreneurship, success, personal development, and I would love to have you join me for the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Lots of noise. What are they doing? Sounds like they're like mowing down bushes. Wow just keeps going. What are they doing? Squirrel just fell out of that tree. Wow. <laughs> we're, we're moving. <laughs>